All right. There we go. Still got some scary music. Residual scary music. Um, let's see. Do to do. So we are in the laboratory. Primary ingredient, berries from a dogwood tree. The subject's reaction to the potion was horrifying skin. Da, da, da. He screamed in agony and eventually, ooh. Conclusion, failure. Failure to what? Gross. Very gross. Ooh. seem to be changing anything. Okay. Wolfsbane root. Upon receiving the potion, began to hallucinate and sweat feverishly. He then vomited several times. Passed out. Vitals are fine. When he wakens, the results... Okay, results. Subject remembers everything and acts as though he simply has a touch of influenza. I have sent... Okay, conclusion failure. Oh yeah, he's trying to produce an amnesia potion. Evidently knows why he's trying to produce an amnesia potion. I, yeah. They can tie it back into the first game. In that respect, I will be very much impressed. <gasps> Ooh! Well. Okay. Well. Uh, artificial life? My attempts to create artificial life for this creature have failed me thus far. It seems life is much more difficult to produce than I originally thought. Subject, blah blah blah. Okay, conclusion failure, so... This way. What? Ah, yes, Damascus rose oil. Yes, okay, the subject had no initial reaction to the potion after about five minutes. Uh, he began to sweat. Um, he began to exhibit signs of an impending blackout upon waking. He began asking questions. Success, Damascus rose petals, specifically the oil they secrete, seems to be the key ingredient. something? I... Okay, no. It looked like there was something there for a minute. Okay. So, Damascus Rose Oil is... He developing laudanum. <laughs> okay. Why am I so so uppity all of a sudden? <clears throat> Focus forcing permanent amnesia and twisting flesh. Oh, great! Subject was brought without any knowledge of what he would be testing. I gave him the amnesia potion. Once it had reached full effect, I shackled him to the table. He pleaded for mercy as I moved. Uh, began cutting his left arm off with the intention of replacing it with a weapon. His screams were blood curdling, despite constant use of blood numb. Um, a stitch on the blade and he began to go. I fed him the amnesia potion again, hoping it would make him forget what had happened and also allow him to endure a bit more. Finished attaching his new arm and noticed that his flesh had begun to deteriorate rapidly, possibly a side effect of the amnesia potion. I then inserted metal wiring inside his flesh to hold it together. By this point, however, the subject had expired. The human 
Okay. So, reanimating the dead. Yeah, okay. Human body can't do that much. I suppose that's good for the humans. Potentially, they can suffer. Alright. Did I already go in here? No, I didn't. Um, reanimating dead flesh. I recently discovered the reason for my failure. Uh, it seems one cannot simply bring to life that which was near living. Electrical pulses I sent through subjects in the first test seem to work on recently killed rats. Um, it took longer than expected. Okay. After a short time, I heard a low guttural groan come from the subject. His face had become contorted in a terrifying way, but seemed to bear no animosity towards me. I spoke to it and told it. Uh, okay. It seems... Servant considers me its father, as I was the one that created it. Uh, conclusion success. Okay, so great. Thanks for sending that thing after me. Great. Great, great, great. isn't going to be happy shortly. Okay. Um, we have some stuff. We have a key. That is even more important. Come on, pick it up. Pick it. More stuff. Um, ah, oil. I also really could probably stop picking up tinder boxes. Tinder boxes because I have 69. Oh my god. Okay. I don't want to go down the other way, but I might have to. I probably will have to at some point. What is over here? Oh. Anything? Oh, we have one useful thing in here. Multiple useful things, sort of. I can hear them all night, all day. The screams of my former cellmates. Um. Oh, they were his servants? I overheard him talking. He says if you die, your soul moves on to another realm. Huh. Interesting. I need to find a way to pierce his foul heart so he can... Never again reincarnate. All I have is this bucket, and it will take some time to... Hmm. Can't get me, right? Right? Oh. Um. Bucket. You can't see me. I'm not here. Oh. Gross. Here. I am a bucket. Um, indeed. I am a bucket. Aha! It worked! I think. Sort of. Leave, please? Okay, I think he left. Wow, <laughs> pretending to be a bucket worked! Alright, we're just gonna check down this way for anything. I don't see anything, I don't see anything, I'm... chilling. okay. This way. So now I have to go down that other hallway. Right? Right. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh. Alright. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch tiger buys to if he hollers, let him go out. Ghost, why? Oh, you, my mother says to pick the 